Hello there folks, I'm Dan Brown from Sort of Interesting and we're going to enjoy another little boat trip and, well, I'll generally chat at you as we're tootling along. As you can see out there, it's a bit of a miserable day, a bit misty and damp and all the rest of it. We've got Mike Mannion on board there, being thrust into the limelight. And, well, little does he know it, but as I've just lit the fire, I don't want to be out steering us down the canal with the smoke in my face. So I'll be in here, wittering away at you. Well, Mr. Manning takes the stern. Helm, whatever it's called. <laughs> and as usual, here we are, living the dream. Although, I didn't close the bathroom door properly. <laughs> but, like I always say, I mean, it's just fantastic. Even on a day like today, I mean... We're just out here boating. How fantastic is that? I don't know if you can see. Excuse the um, windows, as once again I've been moored under a tree and it's, well, as you can see, not been great weather. But we are heading just up around that corner through a bridge. And well, as usual, just fantastic to be on board. So we're heading down now to what I think is Bridge 3W. We've been walking up and down here over the last week. And just now, well, this is where I've been standing and writing in my little diary, so that's been a nice um, sort of view to have from there, looking back across all this. Well, the weather's certainly turning as soon as we've started moving. We've got escapees on the towpath, and, well, I think we'll go around the corner and moor up for the time being. So, finally, at about four o'clock, maybe a little bit later, nearly tea time, I know that much, it's actually stopped raining, and, well, it's been a quite random afternoon with Mr Manning and we got an absolute soaking when we went on a walk down there. As you can see we've got the chimney going and a proper fire going this time. So that's uh, very pleasant to have. And anyway, after about four hours ago starting this video I can actually get on with what I wanted to generally say. Let's head back in the warm and out of the smoke. And well, hopefully out of the smoke if my chimney repairs are holding up. Yeah, so really, I suppose I just wanted to talk about boat life in general and just what's going on. Um, I feel like it's been quite a while since I've talked just straight at the camera like this. So, well, we'll start with, yeah, as you probably saw my um, other video recently of the sunset boat trip. I mean, that was just the perfect boat trip. Yeah, literally, late evening, got the sun coming down, so all the hedges and fields are being lit up. That perfect sort of golden colour and blue skies above and... Then, well, once I moored up and had the perfect sunset, it's just fantastic. I mean, when boat life is good, as I've said before, it is really good. Um, at the minute, I'm just enjoying some slow cruising down towards Ellesmere at the moment. Um, I've been out of Cherk Marina for a couple of weeks now and just enjoying life generally out on the canal. And, well, like I've said in another video, it's just being out here and changing your view for your windows. Just fantastic. Um... I'm agonising and I've been now since I left the marina of whether I'm going to go back down the Montgomery stretch because it's such an odd canal and you can only spend two weeks down there and it means a lot of travelling in one go. Well, I say a lot, it's not really a lot but it's just the sort of shallowness and I hit stuff on the um, back end of the boat down there and there's boats wedged up with like, the uh, bottom of the stern where some boats are cut away, well, most boats are cut away for the propeller at the back. And that was about an inch or so out of the water. And I'm just rambling now about the potential risks down that canal. Um, not that it's as if you're going down some sort of terrible gauntlet, as it is the most scenic, beautiful canal. If you check out my video of the Montgomery, um, just fantastic down there. Whereas obviously Ellesmere... I'm well um, versed in going up and down this stretch of canal, so I can just floor it up there for a couple of hours, very slow cruise. So I don't know, I've made arrangements to go down there the day after tomorrow, but I feel now, already, about an hour after making those arrangements, as if I'm going to say, yeah, I'll just go straight up to Ellesmere, just to not have the hassle of it, really. Um, but in general, everything's all too long, fine. Um, I will say this now as a disclaimer, I apologise for the non-notebook fans and non-astronomy fans but I've had obviously a lot of those videos being posted recently and there's a lot more notebook videos which I'll get out of the way in the next sort of five days or so and then that'll be it, it'll just be a random notebook video every couple of weeks maybe and astronomy videos as I go along and then it'll all be boat life and biking and general, more sort of the general outdoors and living on board Tilly and obviously once we've got to winter mooring I mean that'll be a fantastic nice little well, sort of calm time where I'm not trying to travel everywhere all the time 
so I can get a lot of writing done. I'm, I'm currently working on the next Narrowboat book, um, taking a slightly different angle on this, very much in the same theme, but just a more sort of practical day-to-day -day living sort of element to it as well, which hopefully will give you more of an insight of day-to-day -day life other than just me going, oh, I'm on a boat and it's exciting and it's scary and all that sort of stuff. Um, the Narrowboat Lad has now uh, surpassed easily 700 downloads, so thank you all so much for that, and please keep spreading the word, and hopefully it can hit a 1,000 by the end of the year. Uh, the next book will hopefully be out very early on next year. I've been secretly and very quietly working away on it. There's a few of the things that didn't go into the Narrowboat Lad that I've already got sort of very clear and a lot sort of written which hopefully will interest you and I sort of wish that I'd left it in the narrowboat lad now that it's turned out to be so popular but oh well hopefully you'll stick around and check that out when it launches I'm also um, keeping a diary for the next uh, few well keeping a diary in general in the form of my lovely Midori here but no notebooks in this video I promise <laughs> and Hopefully you'll enjoy a uh, potentially another book based on the proper sort of day-to-day -day diary um, over winter. And if it turns out to be a bad winter like the one that's just been this year, then, well, I really do wish that I'd have got proper detailed notes of everything that was going on from last winter. The incredible snowfall and the ice and things freezing up like the sink in the uh, bathroom and all that sort of stuff. And hopefully this year, if it's not too bad, I mean, I don't want it to be an awful winter, but I'll keep a good um, good collection of memoirs on that. So maybe, maybe a few months into next year, I'll be able to put those together into something. And well, yeah, like I say, this is just a random video, really. Just actually speaking to you directly for a change. It seems to be too long. From now until Christmas, there's easily going to be at least one boat video a week. We've got loads of request videos uh, next week or in the next few days. I'm going to have the sort of general walkthrough of the boat and people have been asking me for a proper in-depth look at the storage and that sort of situation on board. So I'll give you a proper look at how the cupboards are, what's in them and all that sort of stuff. But here's a spoiler. There's not much. <laughs> so... I suppose really, I'll say thank you very much for watching and the incredible support still, I mean 50,000 views a month is just still unbelievable and 700 books sold in the first three months which is seven times what I was expecting to sell by the end of the year, that I can't thank you enough for and well as always make sure you like the Facebook page, feel free to put any comments or requests or questions for videos in the, the uh, comment section below, send me messages, like the Facebook page Oh, everything. Feel free to add me on Facebook on my proper personal account and Twitter and all that sort of stuff. So, I'll say thank you very much for watching. I'm standing next to the fire that's getting incredibly warm at the moment. So, I'll wrap things up here. Till the next time, have a fantastic day. Stay tuned for a load more boat stuff to come. And I promise you that, and a higher percentage of boat to notebooks as well. So, as always, have a fantastic day, and I'll see you around soon. Farewell.